In this example, we're looking for the antiderivative of 4x cubed. So, in other words, what function, when we take the derivative of it, gives us the function we're looking for. So, what function gives us a derivative of 4x cubed? Well, the x cubed after derivative must come from x to the 4. The 4 here came from bringing the 4 down. So our final answer is capital F of x, or the antiderivative, is equal to x to the power of 4. The next example, finding the antiderivative of 2t squared minus t. Well, the antiderivative then is equal to t squared had to come from t cubed. The 2 had to come from whatever it was in front here got multiplied by 3 to leave 2. So the only way to do that is multiply this by 3. The 3's cancel, left us with 2. t has to come from t squared because we take the 2 down. And since the constant in front here is 1, the only way to get 2 times something to have 1 is to multiply it by a half, or 1 over 2. So there's our antiderivative. The antiderivative of this function, s squared minus 5, then, don't forget to use capital F for antiderivative. Well, s squared had to come from s cubed. The 3 comes down, but it's not here, so it has to be canceled by multiplying by a third. Minus, the only way to get a constant 5 is if we had 5s in the previous step. And we can always check our answer. Let's do it here by taking the derivative of what we believe is the antiderivative. 3 times a third is 1, so that just becomes s squared. Derivative of negative 5s is negative 5. So our answers are the same, so this is the antiderivative.